easy now. Oh, we're going down. Yo, what is going on today, everyone? It is Opera Fury Games, and welcome back to another B Min G Drive video. And today, it is going to be epic. What we have here is a fully functional BTR80 created by Reactor, I believe. Now, basically, what this is is an amphibious armored fighting vehicle, which is freaking crazy. And the cool thing is that B Min G Drive has the mechanics for this to work which is so cool. I mean, check this out. It has a fully functional turret. That is awesome. You could go right and left, up, down, which is very cool. So let's uh, put this in the default position. I think it's there. Plus it has a little hatch too. Check that out. That is cool. All right, time to move forward and hit the water. I mean, just check this out. This is awesome. And we are moving. <laughs> now this is thing is a silent runner. <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, check that out. It moves pretty fast in the water. Awesome. Little water donut there with straighten out. It's like drifting in the water. This thing is cool. <laughs> so we are on the East Coast USA map. I'm going to go through here and see if I could do some maybe some rock crawling with it. That would be pretty cool. An amphibious rock crawling vehicle is always awesome. You know, this thing is great. Now, I've played another game called Spin Tires. There has been a couple BTR 80s and whatnot in it. But Spin Tires just doesn't have the game mechanics for it to work like Beam and G Drive. You know, and it's mods like this that sets this game apart from the rest especially because this is a, a simulated environment BMG drive is a driving similar simulator that has almost the most realistic game mechanics that I have ever seen which is great now I know a lot of people see this as maybe a crash simulator it is that too but it's probably one of the most realistic driving experience well, experiences that I have seen or witnessed in game, which is very cool. Probably, I would even say more realistic than Spin Tires, for sure. And just with the uh, the game mechanics in this game, anything is possible. Just like this amphibious vehicle that is just cruising right along. All right, let's see if we could get through this without hitting the wall. I think we might hit the wall there, but this is cool. I mean, what other games you could do this in a simulated environment? Now, of course, you could do it in Grand Theft Auto and other games and stuff like that. But they're in an arcade environment, not a simulator environment. So it's not as realistic. But this thing actually flung pretty fast. So maybe uh, the speed's not realistic, but everything else is. <laughs> Actually, I'm not quite sure how fast these things go in water. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so let's see if we could get to shore here. And I want to see if I could crawl up that section there. Now, you guys may remember this from a previous video i done when I tested out the, uh, the off-road Moonhawk pickup. Pretty awesome video. Go check that out. But I'm going to see if we can make it up through that little rock crawling section there. Well, it's not little, it's actually quite big. So let's do this. All right, we're approaching shore. There we go, finger on the gas. Let's go. Now, does this have the power and torque? Yes, it does. Now I'm using the, uh, the arcade. The arcade um, gearbox settings, a little easy now. Oh, come on, because this thing was pretty touchy in the realistic gearbox settings with the uh, manual transmission. You just bump something and it's completely stalled. But with the uh, regular automatic transmission and the uh, arcade, it's 
it's uh, much easier to control. There we go. A little struggled a little bit there. But this is a massive 8x8 eight eight anyway, so of course we will struggle a little bit. Alright, so let's see if we can get through here. A little bit off campered. Don't want to go too fast. But this thing is freaking cool. Now the, the one thing I noticed that maybe would have been cool if he would have done is that the, the little flap here, that's where the propeller is supposed to be behind. But if you made the the flap so it was on a hinge and uh, floated in water once it hit the water to expose the, uh, oh we stalled out, to expose the prop and model in the prop, that would be pretty cool. Would have done that. Oh, easy now. Oh, we're going down. Oh, we failed that time. But the cool thing is we just rolled back over. Oh, come on. Roll back over. Give it some throttle. There we go. Nicely done. Nice recover. Oh, come on. Recover from it. Alright, so let's see if we can try that again. <laughs> Hopefully much easier and smoother this go around. It's a big vehicle, so it takes a little bit to uh, get it lined up where you want it to go. Alright, so let's try this again. Alright, so maybe swing a little bit wider here. Oh, come on. There we go. We're moving now. She's a heavy vehicle. It should be. Hey, there we go. We made it up that section, no problem there. Much better than the last time. Alright. Don't want to get going too fast. Easy does it. Slow and steady wins the race in some cases. Especially when you're driving this uh, huge BTR-80 around. It's best to plan your line and what's up ahead. See if we can kind of stay close. This is where we fell off earlier, but nice and easy. Oh, we stalled there. Yeah, even with the uh, with the uh, arcade gearbox, the uh, it's a little touchy. I think we no, we flipped off here. But hopefully, this will be our line to get through. Nicely done. We are a rock crawler as well. Let's see if we can readjust here. We got a big, huge front end. Alright, let's see if we can back up. Don't want to fall off now. Oh, there we go. That was pretty risky there, but we made it through. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, who would have imagined? This a BTR80 as a rock crawler. A little touchy rock crawler, but still. Nicely done. Easy now. Haha, <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, easy now. Nice! We made it through, almost through the first section there. But here comes the fun part, which is the, uh, the climb. Oh, come on. Too bad we didn't have diff lock. Oh, oh, don't go off there. Yeah, diff lock would have been nice in this. Alright, let's back up and readjust. You want to get closer to the wall. Oh, we bounced there. Oh, come on. We must have bottomed out on something. I don't think this was made for rock rolling. <laughs> but it's doing a decent job. Alright, how about that? There we go. Guess I have to go off to the one side a little bit. Well, can we make this corner? Yes! This actually has very good turning radius with that four-wheel steer up at the front. Let's see if we can bunt it up over this because the uh, 
our departure angle it's not the greatest it's shaped like a boat that's basically what this is a boat on wheels can we get up through there nicely done <laughs> this is nuts <laughs> all right it looks like a pretty technical section here how do we want to handle this maybe kind of go on the high side like this here well, you can do it. Nice. Plenty of low and torque for crawling. Alright, so how are we going to handle this section here? It looks a little tricky. Just because we do we bottom the front end out. Well, if we did something like that. Oh, we're so close. The front end is hitting. I can't just bunt it. Come on, full power. No, not quite. You gotta get closer to the edge and hopefully not fall off. Oh, so damn close. We're just bottoming out at the front. This might not be a section that we can get up and over. Oh, it spoke too soon. Sometimes you just need a running start at it. Oh, come on. So close. A little bit touchy. Oh, come on. Can we back down from this here? Yeah, we had it. All right, let's try this again. Oh, don't fall off. So close there. We're so close to the edge. One wrong move, we could be done for. All right. Uh oh, stay up there. Come on. This is nuts, all right. How far back can we go? All right. Oh, come on. No, we're going to definitely fall that there. So I'm going just to rewind time a little bit. Oh, too far, too far. There we go. So what about if we get a run at it, like from here? Right, let's try that again. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. Oh, come on, get up there. Awesome, there we go. We just had to stick close to the edge, get a run at it. Now that was pretty crazy. <laughs> Can't believe this made it up that section there. It was pretty technical and nuts to get up. And we're almost up at the top. And there we have it. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did. And subscribe if you're new for more comments like this. And until next time folks, peace out. Have a fantastic day. And I shall catch you tomorrow in a brand new video.